In this tutorial, I will show you the process of uh, preparing an image for laser engraving. First of all, we will open the image in Ada Photoshop. Then we will remove the background. Select the magic tool, magic selection tool. I will take 18 point tolerance for this image. Now click on the background. Hold the shift key and click different parts of the background. Now the background has been selected. We will cut this background with the help of Ctrl X. Now select all and copy this image to the clipboard. Now create a new file with transparent, transparent background. Click on OK. Now paste the image here. Now we will convert this image to gray mode. Select the gray. Now it is a gray image. Now click on filter, filter gallery, adjust the zooming from here. Now you can see that we have selected the sketch and in sketch the photocopy effect is selected and this is the stamp effect. So we can use stem or photocopy for laser engraving. I will prefer the stem 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 and then i will adjust the details for this image i can check also the photocopy but i think that the stamp is better for this image now click on okay so it has been apply to the image now click on the background by the help of magic tool select similar and now cut the background so you can see that now it is a transparent background now we have to convert this image to vector so first of all we will save this image in psd format Open Coral Draw, import the image to the Coral Draw, select the file and insert it here. Now resize this object. Now we have to convert it to black and white into gray image in color raw convert it to gray now click on trace quick trace and select detail logo select the no background remove option This has been drawn. We have to add some detail to this picture, so we will adjust the details from here. The process is going on, so it is now with more details. Now, click on OK. It will take little bit time to draw the picture. 
now it has been drawn now this is an vector it is not an image now it is an vector and we will delete the image ungroup all the objects and now combine all these objects so now a vector has been uh, drawn now we have to import this image for laser engraving after resizing this image according to our requirement we will import it we will select the we will assign a name to this uh, image and now we will select the plt plt format plt click okay all things are all right now i will use rd works uh, software for laser engraving machine you can you may be use let uh, and other but the process is the same now import this image here oh now now you can send this image to your laser engraving machine and after engraving it will look like this